Every human has one for star. Every human is one for creation. That's so amazing, but we often ignore. So when we made Journey, we just wanted to be a game actually about people. Journey is a game about an emotional connection between people. And it's about a simulation of life. When I first started playing video games as a, a child, really, I didn't quite understand that there was so much potential for these games to have such an impact on people. My dad has always been a huge gamer. He would play games all the time with our whole family, invite everyone to join in, and just him playing those games and sharing the stories of the characters within the games that really got me interested in them. Those are good ones. My family has always been incredibly creative. Eventually, I want to do game design and characters for video games. I think after playing Journey, I realized that there was potential for art to be created in this kind of industry. When we work on Journey, I really wanted to see a game where people have a meaningful emotional exchange within the game. There's a lot of online games where you can shoot each other in the head. Right, but that's more of a physical exchange. But emotional exchange is something deeply social. Once I start to use emotion as a lens to look at games, that's where I start to realize I really want to make something that can create that bonding experience. <laughs> so there was a point in time where my father was experiencing these sudden pains. Okay. Um, how's it going? Good. He was taken to the hospital one day, and after staying there for about a week or two, we got the news that it was a later stage of colon cancer. Before he passed, he really wanted us to experience things with him and just making sure that he could spend his last few weeks having fun and experiencing games and just playing with us. He made it a social experience. He made it a way for us to connect. As my dad was progressing in his illness, his reflexes became much worse. So we went on looking for something that he could play and we found Journey. This game was unlike anything that we'd ever played before. It was so centered around its landscape and its beauty and just a world to explore. My dad said to me, this is such an incredible game. It was a story of enlightenment, a story of a pilgrimage to the ultimate end, and then the beautiful heavens afterwards. Journey is like life. In our life, we are all born alone, we all die alone. We are on this personal journey, and the beautiful thing about it is that sometimes our paths will cross with others. Within the game, characters and other people playing would pass into your game and you could interact with each other, but there would be no knowledge of who they were, you couldn't talk, there was no speech. We had this experience where we would play with people, not know who they were, and still have a profound connection with them. We want you to feel emotionally curious and connected to this other human being. Towards the end of the game, it suddenly gets really cold and icy and it becomes very difficult to progress. Eventually, your character sort of gives up. You can't go on any longer. And at that point, my dad and I thought that might have been the end of the game. We were sort of disappointed, it was kind of a sad ending. Until minutes later, the game comes back up and you're at your goal. You're at this beautiful mountaintop filled with all the creatures that you've seen in the world below. And it's this beautiful example of the end and that it doesn't have to be a bad thing. I think that that gave my dad some kind of peace because near the end of his life, he was playing a game that told him that in the end, it would be all right. 
my own inspiration is the journey of life. And I, like many other people, believe there is, you know, something after death. It was a few weeks after he passed that I realized this journey within the game, it reflected the journey that I was going through with my dad. And I need to tell the people who made it how their game has had such an impact on me. So I sent them an email with my letter attached. I wanted to tell you guys of how your game practically changed my life. In late 2011, my father of age 40 was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. In my dad's and my own experience with Journey, it was about him and his journey to the ultimate end. And I believe we encountered the game at the most perfect time. Journey is a beautiful reminder of times with him. I want to thank, thank you, you for, for the game, the game that, changed that changed my life. My life. The game whose beauty brings tears to my eyes. Journey is quite possibly the best game I've ever played. I continue to play it, always remembering what joy it brought and the joy it continues to bring. Thank you. I'm Sophia, I'm 15, and your game changed my life for the better. When she write to me that our game made our life better, it just makes me want to cry. I never could have imagined that my letter could get me this far. I am extremely excited to go on this trip and finally get a chance to meet the people who have impacted my life forever. I've never been to California, not even close. It is definitely intimidating to be meeting one of my idols, really. Sophia? Yes, that's me. Welcome to that game company. It's good to meet you. Most of us who worked on Journey have read your letter, and I want you to meet people who made Journey. Uh, John Nesky, he worked on the way you control the character and how the camera moves around. All the character, you know, the character design, the way he looks and he, he moves, it's all this guy. Amazing. Yeah. When you make a film, you hire the best actors to give you a sense of humanity, but in games, it's mostly the animator who brings the souls to the character. A lot of time for artists, you're working on this art for such a long time, and you put it out there, and you don't hear anything back. It's like the communication is not complete. You don't know what the other side has taken out of it, right? Yeah. What I enjoyed most is, is probably when I felt all the hard work into the game is hurt by someone. These people who were touched by the game will share their life with us. The fact it can change people is something, I don't know, it's just, it warms my heart. So what did you guys do while you were making the game to keep inspired? Uh, we did a trip to the desert. Mm. So in a desert, Seeing the real sand give us inspiration that we will never find on Google. Yeah. And that was very useful. Video games can be legitimate as an art form. They can evoke the same emotions and the same powerful concepts as any art piece could. Is this your joy? Yeah, I, I made this. That's pretty good. Thank you. I didn't know you are an artist. You could call that the first Journey fan art that I've ever created. It's my sketchbook that I brought in, and... Whatever I make, I just want it to be something that people can really connect with. Something where people see themselves in the characters I create, and people see their friends in other characters. No matter what it is, art has to connect with someone in a way. So, earlier, over the, the weekend, I had painted this for you because I feel like I really want to just give you something as a gift, as a really, a really big thanks. You guys made such a tough part of my life so much more easy and it just, it made a really big difference in my life. Every time I read your letter, I cry. And, you know, when you tell, tell us that, you know, our game did make your life better, it's really the coolest thing in my life. Yeah, I just feel we need to make sure our next game is doesn't make you disappointed, you know? <laughs> I feel thankful to these people 
even though they write to us because they feel thankful to us. But you know, who owes who? It's like, what order? I don't, I don't know. We may have people who come into our lives for very short periods and they may leave very suddenly, but overall they leave such a huge impact on us and they make such a difference in the way we live our lives. Thank you.